and Trachan saw it. I'm Ozumi. I'm single and do management work at a construction company. I've been working here a long time, and now I'm the chief here. Hello, this is Entra Construction. Awesome, son. It's about the material delivery for the XX residents. The center wants to deliver to them a day later. We can't. That customer will definitely complain. Transfer them to me. Hello, we transferred your call. Yes, yes. That's the first day we agreed on. It's fine if it's later in the day. Oh. As expected, awesome son came to the rescue. We're glad to have you here. Oh, you guys. It's embarrassing to say, but I love my job and I want to continue working here forever. Of course, there are some troublesome things, however. That's where the next part of my story comes in. Azumi-san, this is Akane-kun. She'll start working here today. Can you show her the ropes? I'm Akane. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello, I'm Azumi. Nice to meet you, too. That's Akane-san, a new member to our team. It's a blessing we got someone new after being so short-staffed here, but... What? What is this? All the stuff I left Akane-san to do, it's blank! Most of them were time-sensitive tasks. This is bad! The next day... Hello? Yes, this case? There's a mistake? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll check it again immediately. Isn't that Azumi-san's client? Hey! We got a complaint from the fax machine! The new employee didn't use honorifics, so the client's angry! H hold on, I'll get to that now! This document is littered with mistakes. I can't understand what's going on here. Azumi-san, Akane-kun still hasn't showed up? She called a while ago saying she would be late. Hello, this is Esha Construction. Give me a break. We finally got through it without any breaks all day. I still have a mountain of faxes I need to send back. I'll do the rest so you can head home. No, I'll do it too. But what's with that Akane girl? Most of the mistakes we've had to deal with are her fault. I'm sure it's because she's new. I'll keep a close eye on her now. But she was late. And did you see her? She had her hair styled. She went to the hair salon before coming to work. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> and on top of that, she runs home without doing any overtime. But I guess when she's here, she's a hindrance because of all her mistakes. You're right. We can't keep this up. With a sense of urgency, I pulled an all-nighter to make a special manual for Akane-san to use. I worked hard in trying to be patient and teach her until she could become a full-fledged employee, but... The next day... Akane-san, here! Huh? What's that? This is a manual I made for you. I want you to memorize it. And if there's a document you don't understand, I'd like you to ask others for help instead of putting it on the back burner. It would've been nice to have gotten this from the start. Look, I know starting off is rough, but it's important to put in some effort to learn new things. That's the least you can do. Um, Asumi-san, do you have a boyfriend? Huh? Isn't it pointless to put your heart and soul into this? You're just gonna get married and quit anyway, right? You don't have to go all out for your job. Listen here! Uh, maybe you don't have a boyfriend? Shall I introduce you to someone? <laughs> Read the manual, please. <laughs> Seems to me like we are incompatible and we won't get along, so I decided to keep my distance. Since then, I only talk with her when I have to, and the working atmosphere has become tense. But even with all that said, it's troublesome for everyone if she can't do her job, so I patiently showed her what to do. Akane-san, I told you this before! Ugh, yeah, yeah, okay. All that effort was pointless. At the morning assembly... Yes, Akane-kun is getting married and leaving the company. Everyone, let's celebrate this new chapter in her life. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone, please come to my wedding, okay? Especially you, awesome san Come to the after party as well. I want you to catch the bouquet. <laughs> <gasps> Next up for marriage is you. You're at a good age, so do your best. <gasps> Despite my rock-bottom situation, it seems like a conning san full of smiles, had sent invitations to all of our co-workers. <laughs> However, everyone was shocked from this unusual behavior, and no one was in the mood for celebration. What's with her? Rude to the very end, I see. She's trying to get back at Asami san since she couldn't do her job. But she even sent an invitation to her boss, and she hasn't even had a direct conversation with him. Hiragi san said he was really embarrassed. And on top of that, the fee for the wedding reception is $300. It says a celebratory gift is fine, too, but what does that even mean? Usually, if there's a fee, you don't need a gift. It's a fixed amount, all right? 
Looks like the gist is they don't mind if you spend more than $300. What? Azumi-san, we got a gift worth $10. Will you do the same? $10? It's the thought that counts, so that's enough, right? Plus, she was a headache for you, so it's fine, don't you think? Oh, but... <laughs> Honestly, I butt heads with Akane-san many times, so it's not like I don't get where they're coming from. But I don't want to stoop down to her level, so to speak. I have pride, so I'll attend the wedding and celebrate sincerely. On the day of the wedding... Asumi-san is late. Oh, is that...? See, she's gorgeous! I'll ask for her number later. Congratulations. Whoa, Asumi-san. You look like a whole different person. R really? You look really beautiful. C cut it out. I'm just dressed formally is all. Now let's welcome in the bride and groom. <gasps> huh? The wedding ceremony and reception went on without any problems. I was curious about Yasuri-san and Karin-san's gift. But I knew how they felt, so I didn't mention it. Then we were handed our tickets for the after party. For men, it's $700, and for women, $300. Putting the women above the men, I see. Ah. You aren't going, right? Well, this is the last time we'll see her. Maybe we should just see her off. Huh? I'm simply going because I'm interested. Don't you think you're being too nice? That ship has sailed. I think it's best to just see her off with a smile. I went to Akane-san's after party in order to not have any ill memories about her. However, the results were worse than Yazuri-san and the others anticipated. The bride and groom are late. We haven't seen them at all. How long are they going to make us wait? It was expensive to come here. Um, I'm sorry for the wait. The newlyweds got drunk at the reception and are completely out of it. What? What the heck? Um, the newlyweds aren't here, but since you've been waiting for so long, you may help yourself to drinks and the food. How exhausting. Oh well. I wonder if they're okay. I heard about this afterwards, but word about the gifts got around. They didn't get gifts like they expected. They paid for half the fees for the ceremony reception up front, but couldn't pay for the rest, so they couldn't leave the banquet hall. It would be settled with the guarantor, but both the bride and groom's family started to quarrel over it. And judging by the awful atmosphere, the discussion was a hot mess. The lack of gifts is the bride's fault. Can you be the guarantor for this? <gasps> How rude! You must be the reason there aren't many guests. H hey, Akamatsu, don't just sit there looking dumb. Say something to your parents. What? I don't want to tell them about the guests who messed around and got us $10 gifts. What are you saying? What are you talking about? Anyway, do something about it. What? Are you saying I'm in the wrong? Ugh. In the end, my parents ended up being the guarantors for the fees. I wonder how mad they'll be with me afterwards. I'm so annoyed. Even Akamatsu was saying it was my fault. And what was the point of giving $10 gifts? And what the heck is up with Asumi-san? Making herself look younger and acting all triumph about it. Ugh, I'm so irritated. I'll take her down until everyone else she's just a single old hag. <laughs> Um, we hate to stop you in the middle of your good time, but the party's about to come to a close. But before that, we would like to do the bouquet toss. Uh, she actually wants to. <gasps> awesome, san Thanks for coming today. Everyone, this is my loving and caring senpai, awesome san Huh? She's my pitiful senpai who's bad at making decisions and is letting her chance at married life slip away because of work. But she's a good person, so someone take her. <laughs> <gasps> huh? I hope the miserable, boyfriendless senpai in her 30s can get married. At that moment, something snapped inside me. All right, here I go. You. <gasps> Whoa! Huh? <gasps> hey, sorry, but I don't see the value in marriage. And receiving a bouquet from such an arrogant bride is bad luck. I don't want any part of it. What? what? <laughs> Stop acting all high and mighty, you hag! Who are you calling arrogant? You're the one who's late to the game! Can't work? Doesn't use honorifics, not trusted by her co-workers. And you running away to get married shows just how little you know. If you were humble, people would have celebrated with you, even if you couldn't do your job. Good morning! I'll just put in whatever. I wasn't taught! You did unnecessary things, and even now your self-worth continues to decline. How you acted is reflected in your wedding ceremony. Get it out already! Hey, wait a minute! 
Don't embarrass us any further! Oh, Azumi-san, wait. This is where I gave up on Akane-san. Let me go! Everything is her fault! She can't be saved. It's a pity, but after this event, it's clear as day. The next day at work. Wow, Azumi-san. I heard about what happened. You were something else. No, please, I lost my cool. It was really embarrassing. But seeing the look on Akane's face was so refreshing. You even went out of your way to celebrate with her. What a silly woman. Looks like after all that, they aren't living together. It's only a matter of time until they divorce. That aside, you sure were popular, Azumi-san. Meet anyone nice? N no, I'm fine without meeting anyone. Even though you were so popular. <laughs> Jeez! So, there are troubles sometimes as well. But I still love this job and plan on giving it my all here. And I don't plan on getting married. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。最初から仕事ができる人っていうのはそうそういないわけですし、わからないことはわからないなりの姿勢を見せないとダメです。ミスを許容できるのも限度がありますからね。何より人生結婚が全てじゃないんです。も